Hi, I'm Jean Lidka, and I'm going to be the instructor for the Design Thinking for Business Innovation course. I'm a faculty member at the Darden Business School, where for about 20 years now, I've worked with managers to help them and students become more innovative and successful growth leaders. This class, though, I think is appropriate not just for people in business, but for almost anyone who has a problem and who would like to learn a more creative approach for solving that problem. The reason I'm so excited about teaching this course is because I think many of us have been told throughout our whole lives that we're just not creative. I know my background is a very traditional business person's background. I started out as an accountant uh, and worked in that field before I got my PhD. And throughout that process, I feel like I was constantly reminded that my job was to do the boring business stuff and that other people, like artists and graphic designers and writers and filmmakers, were the creative ones who knew how to do the other stuff. Right? I was always told that I was never going to be a Steve Jobs or an Apple kind of person, and that always troubled me. And so in my research, I started looking at business people who were successful, and what I found out was that that was not at all true. That there, in fact, is a process and a set of tools that all of us can learn that can help us be successfully creative. But creative people don't just wake up in the morning and have a great idea. They have to do a lot of hard work in between and if you look at very creative firms like Apple and IDEO, they have a process and they have a toolkit that they use to help them. That process and that toolkit is what this class is going to be around. We ask four very basic questions. What's going on today? In an ideal world, what would we like to create tomorrow? What do we think will really work for the people who have to help us create it? And then what happens when we actually try a small experiment in the marketplace to see what works? Associated with those four questions, we're going to learn a set of tools. And together, those tools are going to help us learn how to use both the right and the left side of our brain. Now, you don't learn something like design thinking through me lecturing about it, or even by reading cases of people who do it. You learn it by doing yourself. So one of the things I want you to think about, and one of the things that we'll work on in this class, is what's an area of opportunity or a problem you've got? It may be in your business life, it may be in your home life, that you'd like to take a more creative approach to solving. So think about that, and I'll look forward to meeting you in class one.